Hi, it's Dr. Philippe Bejin, here to tell you about anaphylaxis, the most serious type of allergic reaction. As we learned before, an allergic reaction is the result of a mast cell overreacting after mistaking a food for something dangerous, an invader like a parasite. Mast cells are part of your immune system. Depending on where they are in the body, mast cells will have different effects when they're activated. But those effects are always meant to throw the invader out. It will cause swelling and itchiness to make you scratch your skin. In the stomach, it can make you vomit or cause diarrhea. In the lungs, it can make you produce sputum, a thick type of mucus, and will trigger the cough reflex. In your eyes, nose, ears, and throat, it can make you itch, cry, or sneeze. All of these reflexes trying to get the invader out of your body. Now, what's special about food in comparison to our example of a parasite is that when you eat food, you digest it and it gets absorbed and distributed all over to feed the cells of your entire body. So, if you have a food allergy, this means it can potentially activate all the mast cells in your body all at once. And that's what we call anaphylaxis. It is a severe reaction to an allergen which has entered your bloodstream and is triggering the mast cells all over your body. And that can be really dangerous. For example, if you have a peanut allergy and you accidentally eat a peanut, in the stomach, it can activate the mast cells. So it might give you a stomach ache or make you vomit. When it enters the bloodstream, the peanut can make you faint. When the peanut protein reaches the skin, it can make you itchy all over and give you hives. But the worst is when the allergen reaches your lungs. Because it's not going in just one part of the lung. All the different parts of your lungs will start closing at once, making it harder and harder for you to breathe. And that's the most dangerous symptom. It can be life-threatening, especially if the reaction is very bad or if the person already suffers from uncontrolled asthma. What we as doctors tell people with food allergy is to avoid their food allergens so they don't experience anaphylaxis. But sometimes accidents happen. When they do, people can treat themselves or have help doing so with epinephrine, which is the medicine form of the hormone adrenaline. Adrenaline is naturally made by your body and is released when you're excited. It increases your heart rate and it helps boost energy. Epinephrine comes in an auto-injector, and when it's injected in the thigh of someone having anaphylaxis, the medicine is going to get progressively absorbed in the bloodstream and travel all over your body, just like the food allergen did. What's great about epinephrine is that it does the opposite of anaphylaxis. It opens up your lungs, so it's easier to breathe. It makes the itching go away. It raises your blood pressure and prevents fainting. But the other thing epinephrine does that is even more important is that it actually turns off the mast cells. Here's an example. Imagine if you're having a food allergic reaction to egg because you accidentally ate some and you're allergic to it. As they come in contact with the egg protein, the mast cells in your body will start blowing up and releasing chemicals causing you to have symptoms of an allergic reaction. With time, as your body keeps absorbing more and more of the allergen, the egg in this case, you will see more and more mast cells activate and the allergic reaction will get worse. But if you use epinephrine quickly enough, as soon as the reaction is starting, you're going to start turning off those mast cells. So it's too late for those first mast cells that already reacted, but when the egg allergen reaches those other mast cells, they're not going to react. This is why you want to treat anaphylaxis with epinephrine as fast as you can, because you have a small window of time to actually stop the reaction altogether. In case you aren't sure it's anaphylaxis, it's still best to give it, because epinephrine is not dangerous. It is a natural hormone already in your body. With that, I hope you learned a lot about the immune system, mast cells, and the importance of epinephrine in treating anaphylaxis.